Hello, star seeds and family. How are you all doing today? Hope you are having a great day and enjoyed your holiday yesterday. I know I did. Had some good barbecue and baked beans and just relaxed and enjoyed myself. And I hope you all did the same. I have another message for us from God today. So let me go ahead and pray and we'll get right into it. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this prayer. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this room. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this message. Speak, Holy Spirit, the word that you have for your people. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, your love and kindness. Thank you for waking us up this morning, keeping us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger, covering us with your blood. Let no evil come near us in our dwelling, giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you for your provision to us and for us. We thank you for taking care of our families and our loved ones. Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your people to encourage and uplift their hearts and let them know what they need to see and what they need to know. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes and comments. I truly appreciate them all very much. Welcome, welcome, welcome if you are new and welcome, welcome back if you are returning. I appreciate you all's support very much. All right, so let me go ahead and get into the message. All right, so there is a lot that has been taking place, um, especially with this, uh, this super moon, super blue moon we just had. Um, the full moon in Pisces, it was very, very, very powerful. Even I was feeling it myself. And then we also have like seven planets that were in retrograde. And actually, um, Venus has gone direct now, thank God. So, um, and so, you know, Venus deals with our love, our, um, our beauty, our money, and all of that so it was retrograde but now it's direct now and but that super full moon was very 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 powerful um had a lot of people in their feelings um it illuminated a exposed a lot um there are a lot of people trying to you know work their magic under this pisces new moon um when they had already been warned to stop that the time was up for them to do anything wicked or crazy towards God's people, that their time was up, but they still tried to do it anyway. And of course, it immediately backfired on them and revealed and exposed everything that they have been doing for years. Some of y'all since 2020 and before that. And, um, so now um, their masks have fallen off. Everybody knows what they did. And they are in deep shame and regret, um, experiencing a lot of public shame because they were a wolf in sheep clothing, snakes. And so a lot of them find themselves today and this week experiencing a a dark night of the soul because they let their ego overpower their intuition and they wanted to win at all costs so bad that they let the devil play them out of their position and um, let me get my glasses on here So yes, um, over this weekend, a lot has been illuminated and exposed. Um, A lot of people have gotten, received some deep revelations about the people that they thought were their friends and family members um, and lovers that loved them. But they have got a huge awakening. So a lot of the karmic attachments and enemies they're feeling very crazy at this time. They're very confused, um, feel lost and stuck 
in some deep despair, fear, and isolation, really, really going through a painful period because they thought they were going to get away with everything that they were doing behind the scenes and nobody was going to find out. Um, They actually thought God's children were very um, naive and, you know, that they were going to be able to slip them by them, slip this by us, and you know with their trickery and deception and um and their manipulation but they have been found out and a lot of people are you know devastated because they weren't you know expecting to find out all of these things that these karmic attachments have done and all the people that they have destroyed in the midst of them doing all of their trickery, deception, and um, manipulation and operating from their shadow self. And God is saying that everything that has happened, it was meant to happen this way um, so that God can teach lessons here. Because you have learned a lesson your karmic um, karmic attachments have learned a lesson with this and um, also your divine partners or your family members and friends. Everybody is learning a lesson here. Learning some very heavy, um, deep spiritual and life lessons from this um, situation and how everything played out. So these karmic attachments, which could be family members, um, lovers, friends, um, friends of the family, associates or whatever, they're experiencing this dark night of the soul because um, there are some divine partners that are, have found out everything that they've done and they're very hurt and a lot of them are angry and mad. There are a lot of altercations and um, fights and arguments breaking out over this past weekend. And so now that everything has been illuminated, your divine partners are taking action, being very assertive and coming after you um, fast and with determination and eager to bring you an offer. Um, A lot of them want to reconcile with you all and and heal things with you. They realize that it was you that had love, power, and a sound mind this whole time and that they're not interested in any karmic attachments. And they realize every, every since they've been connected to these people or, you know, in contact with them in their presence that they've experienced nothing but bad luck and bad karma and they have no interest in that anymore because it's just like how far can you go you know what I'm saying with without breaking your own mental state your own body down this constantly being operating in all of this devil energy and activities so they have been awakened having a lot of epiphanies and revelations and so the karmic energies are in the dark night of the soul because they thought what they were doing was going to work on a divine union and if it's divine union and predestined by God all you're going to do is learn a lesson, a very hard lesson. Like they say, a, a hard head makes a soft behind. And I remember my mama used to say, <laughs> she used to say, a good ass whipping will um, change a billy goat mind. Because, you know, they're very, very, very stubborn. So a lot of people getting some spiritual ass whippings this week. And um, so... So the karmic energies, they're, um, they're somebody who is like, they're very, like very, very weird. 
Um, they think that the more you heal, the more it sabotages them. So that's why they were doing all of these crazy um, activities, all of this devil energy, sending all this manipulation, energy manipulation, word manipulation, um, doing all these different spells and rituals towards you, trying to defeat you. But um, they missed the major piece. You had already been healed from whatever you went through with your divine partners, depending on where you are in the spiritual journey, in this twin flame journey. So you were unbothered by a lot of things that they were doing and that they were sending because you had already healed and you love yourself. So, and because you're the star seed, you're the messenger of God, you're the chosen one, child of God, they are um, very mentally unstable right now because they were expecting you to react or respond how they react and respond, but you've already learned all your karmic lessons. And a lot of you know that that lifestyle or that path only leads to hell or jail. But they were expecting you to respond how they would because they were being, being very childish and immature. But you were already healed and you love yourself and you've been loving on yourself. You still, um, for those of you who are, you know, celibate and not dating anyone, you are still happy, self-sufficient, single, abundant, and moving forward on your path, and there's nothing they can do to stop you. But they thought um, they were going to be able to stop you, and so they're very, very confused right now and discompo discombobulated, trying to figure out why, did, why this didn't work and why they got the covers pulled off of them, the rug snatched from under them, and their mask ripped off and now people see them for exactly who they are wolf wolves in sheep clothing and their strategies did not work because love you have love in your heart you love yourself you love other people you have clean hands in the eyesight of God And everything flows through love. Love is the highest vibration of all. So they were trying to defeat you on some low vibrational type energy. And you're far above that. You're not going to stoop down to their level. You're not going to get off your throne and address them. Because you're operating in the highest vibration of love. And we're seated at the right hand of God in Christ Jesus. And we're heavily protected and guided and directed by the Holy Spirit. So I don't know what. They let the devil play them big time. I don't know what he promised them. But please keep in mind, the devil's job is to steal, kill, and destroy you. He don't have any blessings to give you so when people be selling their soul to get all these you know blessings fancy cars clothes holes you know whatever um he don't have no it's a trick he don't have any blessings to give you all he can do is keep throwing stuff at you to see how weak you are see if you're gonna fall for his trick and his trap and that's what happened to them. And then they still got exposed. And now they under they're under judgment. Not about they're not about to receive anything that the devil promised them or what somebody else promised them to try to come against one of God's chosen to harm or hurt them or to try to steal anything from them. That was never gonna work. But 
they are learning today. <laughs> like um, Kevin Hart say, you're going to learn today. you learning today. So, and, um, so your divine partners, um, they realize that there's, um, some of you who said something to, um, one of your divine partners, um, because they were trying to lure you in with, you know, the things that used to work, you know, cause you to, to give in and, and go ahead and do what they want you to do or do with them what they want you to do. And in most cases it's sex, you know, cause they know you love, you know, to be intimate or whatever. And somebody recently asked you a question pertaining to something like some oral sex or something. And they thought that, you know, once they, if you said yes to that, then they'll be able to go ahead and do that and then have their way with you or whatever and steal your energy through your sex to try to destroy you and throw off your stability. But there are some of you that told them no and told them, you said one sentence to them and that caused them to, to wake up and to realize that they're stuck in the past and you're already in a whole new cycle and a new beginning going in a different direction. So that's specific for a, f- a few of you all, but that woke them up like, hey, like, I'm still, you know, operating in this childish, lustful, playboy, playgirl energy. And my twin done, they on a whole, <laughs> in a whole, on a whole different page and a, in a whole different book, going down a, a whole different path. And I'm stuck here with these karmic attachments and enemies and I'm getting left behind. So God is saying that whatever you said to them, that woke them up from their sleep. Wake up, Lazarus. Come on, get up. You're getting left behind. And cause them to to um, start to think and do a lot of contemplation and Remember a lot of things that you all tried to tell them a year or two or three years ago. All of that is had came to them at once and awakened them. And they saw exactly what was going on here with these karmic energies and what they were trying to do. So they've been um, hiding their feelings for you. A lot of them been repressing and holding their feelings, their emotional emotional feelings in for you, trying to please karmic family members, friends, and lovers. And now that they're awakened, they see that somebody else is about to get their their wife, about to get their husband, about to get their blessing. Because God keeps his promises. If he promised you a marriage that is going to be a very loving and blessed a, a man or a woman after God's own heart you're going to get that if he has to make somebody else do it or you know what I'm saying Cre- groom somebody else to be that person for you and so now they're woken up eyes wide open like somebody's about to get my blessing and they're right if they don't get it together in a hurry and so a lot of them um, have been awakened and they they know who you are now. They know that you're their um, twin flame. You're their soulmate and that they want to marry you. And a lot of them are coming in fast and quick, eager um, to reconcile with you, to try to heal things with you because they know you are the blessing because a lot of them may have seen you all recently and what the karmic attachments, karmic family members or friends or lover was lovers was telling them about you is the total opposite. You're happy, you're um glowing, you have leveled up, you are very abundant, you don't need anybody for anything, you can do what you wanna do when you wanna do it, go where you wanna go. 
travel to where you want to go and you are happy and smiling without them so they're getting a lot of um rude awakening and realize people have told them a lot of lies deception and trickery while they going through all this bs that they don't create it um because your your life is a projection of the energy you put out into the world. They see you on a whole opposite level. You done leveled up. You doing better than them and their karmic attachments. So yeah. So expect some um some phone calls, some pop-ups, some dates to be offered and everything because a lot of them are very very hurt right now because you had good intentions they see the 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 difference you know what they're comparison with comparison comparing you with the the karmic energies and you're doing way better than both of them put together all of them and they hate that they let their ego and their pride destroy you all's connection and cause them to be sleep all these years in their tomb you know just overindulging in unhealthy habits on their pathway has caused them to be stuck and trapped in situations that they would have been well on their way and doing so much better if they would have had stayed with you been so far ahead if they would have stayed with you because you are the blessing the blessings of god are on your life in your life through your life you have divine protection when they were with you they had divine protection and so because you're the blessing you're the chosen one you're the star seed so it's kind of like like say if you have some teenage children or whatever and their friends you know you know they don't mean your child no good they probably gonna you know get them in trouble have them doing all types of crazy stuff, skipping school, you know, doing all types of crazy stuff. You know that they're no good for them. And you try to tell them that, oh, this person ain't your friend. They're going to get you caught up. But they're like, no, you know, and they just be taking up for them. And, and so since you know your child loves them so much, you tolerate them, you deal with them. That's how God is towards his children. So God was tolerating this person because you love them so much. And, you know, he knew he knew the end from the beginning. So he knew what they they, what they were going to try to do to you, what they were planning in the background. He knew that, you know, all of this that has played out was going to happen. But you love this person so much and, you know, you were so in love with him, you knew you know, y'all had a great connection and everything. So because you loved them so much, God was putting a, a hedge around them of protection. They had protection because they were with you. But once they did what they did and left you, they left their protection, their blessings, and everything. So they're realizing it now. A lot of... um People have gotten a lot of revelations that people are trying to force them into um, relationships and in marriages because of how it looks on the outside and because, you know, to please the family members or whatever. And now um, a lot of the family members are waking up as well. It's like, you lost a blessing. Like, how, what you going to do to go get this person back, you know? And they like, I don't know. And they like, well, you better figure it out because... This is a blessing for the for they not just for them but for their whole bloodline. That's huge. So they gonna either either be blessed or curse. And the people who were doing all this spell work and you know energy ma- manipulation, word manipulation, lying, gossiping, slandering, you know, creating illusions, they done caused their bloodline to be cursed. It's, it's sad because God say when you're dealing with his children you better know who you're dealing with because we're a royalty we're a royal priesthood 
And those who bless us will be blessed. And those who try to curse us, they will be cursed in return. So I just pray that, you know, people wake up out of their um, their cocoons or, you know, Lazarus wake up in them. The Spirit of God wake up in them so that they can live their lives different and be different. And do different because when you sin, you don't sin unto yourself. It affects the people around you, the people in your family, people in your generations. It affects them. And we have seen it, you know, from the generations that we've come down, come through, what has been passed down. So I hope people, you know, really... um just change their ways and give their life to God and get on their right path so that they can um, live a better life and also create a better life for their children and their generations. So um, your divine partners, they know who you are now and a lot of them are coming with um, apologies and proposals and marriages. And that's what God wants you you all to know and to be aware of. He wants you to continue to doing what you do, continue to be obedient, continue to follow your intuition. Take care of God's business first and he will take care of your business. Matthew 6.33 Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all is righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you. It's God's word. He said, he's not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he would change his mind. He, he watches over his word to perform it. So operate in your purpose and be obedient to God so your life can continue to flow with his spirit, flow with the Holy Spirit. Only he has eternal life and living waters. So stay with God, stay prayed up, stay um, fasting, med- meditating, and keeping your thoughts positive. Think on, on those things that are lovely and pure and of a good report. And give God praise and thanksgiving and worship in advance. Create the life that you want to live. He said he'll give you the divide, the desires of your heart. If you trust him and obey him. All right, Starseed. So that's all I have for us today. That is the message. You all enjoy the rest of your night or day, wherever you are. I love you. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourself and others right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.